Welcome everyone to Do More Be More. Today's video is going to be dedicated from the bottom of my heart to you guys. And it is what I learned throughout the course of when I started trying to reach a fitness goal that I had. I've reached a couple of goals since then, but I'm going to show you what I did from the beginning. And that includes moments that I've made many mistakes. So stick around because that is coming up right now. Welcome everyone to Do More Be More. I'm going to do my best to not ramble on, but I'm going to go on and tell you the mistakes that I've made. So basically, I always thought that to lose weight meant eating foods that are considerably consider to be considered as healthy. So eating salads and eating chicken even was not actually healthy to me. Just eating salads and I had no knowledge. So I just tried going getting a chef salad, which then I found out that can also be bad for you if you're trying to lose weight. I didn't really know what the importance was of calories was. I didn't know the importance of protein. And I just tried to fill not even have a small, I mean, a full plate of salad. Even when I was having salad, I was having small amounts of food and I was starving every single time. And every time that I've tried to have that kind of diet, it would only last a few weeks at the most. And then I would just give up. And then after that, as far as exercising, I wouldn't exercise all my muscle groups. I would basically just do my shoulder, my, yeah, so my shoulders at some part, my biceps. I would always think my biceps were more important. Um, I didn't really work out my back, um, never worked out my legs. I considered running the exercise for my legs. I didn't even think of what the difference was between cardio and resistance training or weightlifting for those who don't know. And I didn't know the difference between, well, the triceps are a bigger muscle than biceps. So basically I did not work out enough muscle groups. I didn't care about my chest. I was already big, so my chest kind of looked like it was big, but it was more fatty than it was muscular. So. I didn't give the right muscles the right attention. It should have been all muscles distributed equally, but I did not do that. I knew that I would have to wake up early, four or five in the morning. Um, I would not always do it. I would probably try to wake up. I would either not do it or I would do it and then I wouldn't enjoy it and I would only be able to do it for a few days. And I would join a gym. It was a gym that was maybe not so close to me. Uh, I wouldn't want to go in the winter. In the summertime, I just wanted to do other things, and that just wasn't encouraged at all. Um, I tried to have a, a playlist, which I ended up getting bored of, and then every time I went to the gym, I thought of the playlist, which bored me. I just relied on too many things other than myself. So it's just not a good mindset to have, to associate things that you don't like anymore when you're going to the gym or when you're going to eat something that is good for you. Also, the thought of saying, I want to do, I want to reach a certain weight in a month or two months or three months. And then I thought about programs like P90X. Those again, those programs are great because the exercises are wonderful and I've done it and I would love to do it again, maybe in the future. But when I saw something like P90X, 90 days, you get your peak physique. Well, three months, you can see results. It's for a lot of people, considering what they want to achieve, you probably can't do it in 90 days. Now, you can try it again. I've seen people that have done it several times and then they reach their goal, which is more realistic. But one set of 90 days, I, would, I was expecting to see the results that I wanted in those 90 days. And I just did not see it. And I think only one time did I get almost close to the 30 days and I didn't do it. And I gave up before the 90 days because I didn't see the results. Thinking and though in my head that I would reach the result of the 90 days, and I would give up earlier than that, which made no sense. But what are you gonna do? Another thing is that I believed in cheat meals. And um, for some reason I believed in cheat meals, but it also made me feel worse. Like the whole idea of having cheat meals is just rewarding myself for suffering, which again, you shouldn't have to suffer through your actual meal plan to reward yourself with something that is probably gonna put you overboard. And then I was getting discouraged. So all the motivation that I created for myself was just down the drain. It was just, it was meant to fail, that kind of plan that I have. Um, also, relying on something like motivation, 
nobody is motivated 100% of the time. The whole point of motivation is it's a push. So you can't just be pushed all the time. Eventually, we're gonna live our daily lives. We have to do what we gotta do, go to supermarket, go to work, go to school, read, write, whatever it is that we do, we're just stagnant. A lot of part of our life is not that glamorous, it's not that glorious. So motivation is gonna come up and then it's gonna come right back down. Not because it's bad or motivation is just lying to us, but that's just the way that it is. Our motion tends to be in one state and every once in a while we'll go up and every once in a while we'll go down. And that's what I always thought that if I'm not motivated, it means I'm not, I'm not ready for it, I'm not meant for it, or maybe I just need to be happy with what I have. The only thing that I knew that I needed to do is not give up and continue to look for other options. So after I made all these mistakes, what really made me do the, tr well, really did the trick for me was to start writing it down, not waste time and not think about, well, should I join the gym tomorrow, next week, whatever. I didn't have any exercise equipment, so I went to Planet Fitness because I wasn't sure how much money I'd be making and if I would end up spending a lot of money to a gym that I don't go to. So I did the $25 fitness thing, uh, the membership plan, and I would go with my mom, try to go with my brother. And a month later, a month later, COVID came. So I felt that I was gonna be the, uh, the, the end of it. And it turns out, I just kept logging. Um, my exercises weren't great because I had no equipment. And I also wasn't, I didn't get too far in that one month. I was going maybe two or three times a week. Um, I didn't really know about protein intake, so I wasn't feeding my muscles. I wasn't resting correctly. That's another mistake that I made. I didn't rest correctly. Maybe I still don't, but I'm trying every single day. So yeah, you can see it in my eyes. But I decided to get more educated. Uh, I learned about a lot of YouTubers. I did learn some from Athlean X, and then I learned something about, about a few couple of things after that. You don't have to just rely on one person. Try things and see what works for you. And then I found out some recipes from a couple of other people. I saw um, Remington James had a lot of really good recipes, so he calls them the anabolic lifestyle, which in which your, your meals are high in protein, low in calorie, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a whole, with the whole point of having delicious foods that resemble what we normally would eat on a bad diet, but making them good versions. That's when I realized also, what exercises am I doing? Am, am I really getting the true potential out of the muscles? And I decided, you know what? Well, I need more. And I need a just nighty, you know, anabolic fried chicken and all that things. I need to actually feel healthy. I need to feel good because even though I'm enjoying the food, I technically don't really feel great. I started using like vitamins and things of that sort. I realized, you know, yeah, that only helps so much. So I tried a combination of sleeping better. I ended up finding about Greg Doucette and his channel is incredible. Definitely recommend that to you guys. Uh, the guy is, uh, he is a licensed uh, kinesiologist and basically with all this experience with weightlifting and bodybuilding and with uh, IFBB Pro and I did say that right, IFBB Pro and very successful man. He's a fantastic YouTuber. He does a little he gets a little extra because he's very passionate about what he does, but it's easy to pay attention to him. It's very logical. And I started applying a lot of things that I've learned with a lot of people into my own life. And then I always liked YouTubing before. I just didn't know exactly what direction I was going to. And that's when I decided, you know what, instead of trying to help everybody and everything, let me help people with what has helped me with the community of YouTube. And it's been really rewarding. It's been really fun. I sleep better now. I eat better. I build muscle, I do cardio, I eat healthy, I eat deliciously, and all those things are really paying off because I feel better. Now, I'm always gonna have something to work on, and so will you, but that's the beauty of it, that we're never done growing. So with that in mind, just continue to work on stuff, just continue to learn, don't rely on one source. If you, if you watch my videos, I appreciate it so much, but always look for what else is out there. And make sure that you're not being scanned by a lot of people. There's a lot of people on social media that are just selling lies. I believed a lot of it for a long time. The whole apple cider vinegar, the green tea, those things mean nothing. To lose weight, you have to be in a calorie deficit. To gain muscle, you have to have the right amount of muscle. For all those things, you have to rest correctly, hydrate correctly. And if you're not doing it, if you're lying to yourself that you're just gonna eat pizza all the time, whether it's anabolic or it's actual pizza, well, honestly, you're going nowhere because you're just looking for the easy way out and then you're gonna blame others for it at the end. So with that in mind, love yourself. I did everything for the love of myself first and now 
for the love of the community, I'm doing the best that I can to share it with you as well. And it's been a blast so far. This is what I've learned. These are the mistakes that I've made, and I hope you can learn from it too. With that, definitely leave any comments that you need in the comments in the comment section below. Remember to follow me on TikTok, on Facebook, and on Instagram. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And you already know, if you do more, you will be more.